All right, well, let's talk about building chords, and not just triads, but chords in general, all right? There are basically, we've got the minor chords, we've got the major chords, we've got the augmented, we've got the diminished chords, we've got, uh, those are the chords that we mainly use in our Western system of music. And the way that we can figure them out is basically through the intervals. So if I were to just start off with a, with a plain Jane C major chord, C, E, G, and for those that don't read notes very well, that's how it's, that's, that's, that's the C chord. Those are the three notes that make up a C chord on there. And what I have here is what they call a major third and a minor third. And the way you usually write a major third is a big M, and in a minor third you write a small M on there. And out here to the sides, that's a what they call a perfect fifth. That's the interval. So every major triad it has a minor has a major third on the bottom, minor third on top, and then a perfect fifth. And when you have them as close position as possible on there. All right. So if I were to to change it up just a little bit, let's say I do I want to do a minor chord. And what it is for C, it's C, E flat, G. And what this here is, that's now a minor third. That there is a major third. You can see how they flip flop. And then I still got a perfect fifth here. So that's a, that's a minor triad. Now let's do a, a triad that is, is, is used a lot as well, is what they call a diminished triad. Okay, so there's C, E flat, and G flat. Flat. There we go, flat. <clears throat> so on here, I got a minor third and a minor third. And now I have here, instead of being a perfect fifth, it's what they call a diminished fifth. On there. Okay, so that's a diminished triad. And one last one, it's one that we don't use very much it's what they call an augmented triad. So, C sharp. So it's C, E, G sharp. Okay. So basically, here it is, is that I got a major third, and that's also a major third. And up here we have an augmented fifth. So those are the intervals that we have for those uh, there in the chord. So let's go listen to how they sound. That's a major triad, so got a major third, got a minor third, a perfect fifth, and together it's a C triad, C major triad. To minor, got a minor third, a major third, a perfect fifth, and that's a minor triad. A diminished triad is a minor third and a minor, minor third and a diminished fifth, and you hear that, they call this a tritone. Unstable, and that's a diminished triad. An augmented triad is a major third and a major third, and together, an outside is a is an augmented fifth. So I'll kind of go from top to bottom. Here's augmented to major to minor to diminished. Okay, here's diminished to minor to major, to augmented. So those are how the triads are put together. And most of the triads we use in our Western system music in rock and roll and, and, and even in jazz as well, uh, blues for sure, is uh, either major or minor triads. The diminished chord, like I talked about before, is a special chord, it's an unstable chord. It wants to be resolved. It's, a, it's an unstable chord. It wants to be resolved. Okay, so that's that's how diminished chords work. Uh, they function the same as what they call the five seven chords, and I'll do a video on that as well. So, basically, hope that helps you out building triads, rock and roll.